Photoshop's built-in automated commands are found under the file menu in automate. Now this is what my automate menu looks like. Yours might look kind of different because I have a couple of third-party add-ons. I have Site Grinder and also have the On One suite which is all this collection here. So yours probably looks more like this with batch, create droplet, crop and straighten photos and then down to this part that says conditional mode change. Now some of these automated commands require that you have a photograph open. Others you can do it either way. You can either have a photo open or launch the automated command and then choose some images. And we'll go through that as we as we talk about each one. So first of all let me just say the batch command and the create droplet I'm going to touch on those briefly later on when we introduce the concept of actions because these ones require a bit more work on our part. I want to talk first of all about just the built-in automated commands that you don't have to do anything else to except run them. And the first example is this one, crop and straighten photos. Let me go back to this for a second. So here's my image. I found some old photos, stuck them on my scanner, dusted it off, <laughs> scanned these photos in, and if you look really close you can see I wasn't terribly careful about putting them on straight because I knew I was going to use this command. Now I could have just scanned them in and then used my marquee selection tool and copied the first one and then pasted it into a new document and done that four separate times. But that's the beauty of automated commands is when they do the work for you. So all this is, again, it's just a scan, saved as a TIFF, could be a JPEG, doesn't really matter. And then I just go File, Automate, Crop and Straighten Photos. Now here's a little hint for you. If you see an automated command that doesn't have any dot 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 at the end, that means there's no options, it'll just run. These ones down here you'll see all have that ellipse on the end which means it'll lead to a dialog box. So this one tells me it's just fully automatic. So I just choose it and then this is Photoshop doing the rest of the work. And just like that, now I'm in tab document view, I have four documents all nicely done. Now if I look really closely at them, obviously for this one for example, I'd need to go into image, rotate, and rotate it a little bit. But again, that's still faster than me going copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste multiple times. You can imagine if you had multiple images, putting a bunch of them on a scanner, scanning four or five images, and then using this automated command to get your separate images could be a real time saver. And of course, that's the whole idea of using the automated commands.